Welcome to From Field to Stream TV. In this program, we're back on Tamont. It's the first week of the season, and we're hunting for those elusive springers. I hope you enjoy the program. Tight lines for the new seasons. Tight lines! Tight lines! Come on, Nafas! <laughs> Well, I've said he's a fucking shareholder or director or something there. Yeah. This is what spring summer fishing's all about. You spend hours and hours on the bank, casting away, casting away, then all of a sudden, bang! A spring up, doesn't it? Absolutely beautiful spring up. Absolutely tremendous spring up. A wee saying in Scotland, winter's come, the snow has fell, and Geordie's nose is cold as well. Geordie's nose is cold and skint it, winter's diabolic, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> this is we know as anglers we call spring fishing, but it's my great privilege and pleasure to welcome you as our guest today on the famous Taymount Beat to bring in a new season. With the opening ceremony done, the first casts were made and it wasn't long until Adam Smith got into his beautiful little sea trail. So the first fish was landed and given the weather, we decided to call it a day and head back to the hut, where Alec gave us one of his humorous speeches. But a wee bit about our ladies, I, there's, there's a gilly I know who, uh, I need to watch what I'm saying in case I embarrass this, this, this person. But uh, I've changed his name to protect the innocent, so we'll just call him Head Gilly Sean. Uh, but anyway, this this <laughs> this Head Gilly Sean was uh, was telling me this this right. sweet story you see about his ladies, and that's, I just happened to say to him, "Well, Head Gilly Sean, how would you actually describe your absolutely favourite best lady? Uh, what would you look for in a best lady, best woman?" So he sort of scratched his head and thought about it for a minute, and he said. He says, well, Alec, he says, uh, she didn't look like a goddess. Oh, well, this can't be bad, can't be bad. And he says, she'd, 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 she'd need to cook like Delia Smith. He says, well, no, no, that's pretty good, that. Huh? That seems all right. And he said, when we retired for the evening and we made love, he said, she would take me to the highest planes of ecstasy. And then at midnight, she turned into a fish supper. <laughs> <laughs> I returned a couple of days later to join the lads and we ended up with a fantastic day. So here we've got Mike Brown into a, a really good fish. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a springer. This is on the needle in the lin pool at Taymont. You can see Taymont House up there. What a place for a house, absolutely stunning. This is a good, good fish. Mike's putting on the, on a wee bit of pressure here. You can see the reel. It's, it's taking line. Taking it down to the, the place that we're going to be able to land this fish. Here's Con coming over. Con's just come across from the green bank. He's hopefully going to do the honours and, and get this fish in the net. One. Here we 
where it comes from. Here it comes, here it comes in that absolutely beautiful springer. Absolutely tremendous springer. Bar of silver. All the, all the springers caught in Scotland this year have got to be released before the 1st of April. So as you can see here that the fish are trying to keep it in the water as much as possible. Michael get the hooks out quickly. Yeah that's the hooks out. And that's the fish coming up for a quick photograph. And it's going and it's going straight back in. There it goes. Back in. Away. Well done, Mike. This man just stopped fishing at that point two minutes ago, and already there's a fish on. I think this was his first cast from this point. Looks like the copper, the copper salmo was more tasty than the silver salmo that's been thrashing this bit of water the last hour. Poor Chris down there has just moved out of this pool let, and let Alan in. What do you think, Mike? It's a fish. Yeah. Definitely? Twelve pounder. Twelve pounder. that rod bend. This is what spring salmon fishing is all about. You spend hours and hours on the bank casting away, casting away, then all of a sudden bang, a springer. The amazing thing is you can get on the tee on plenty of beats just now, good availability, cracking prices. You know, you can get some beats for £25, why not get down and have a fish? Where we are just now, it's it's right in this kind of powerful bit of the limb pool. Huge current, so when you get a big fish like this on, it's a hell of a fight. And this fish will be, it'll be using the, the power of the water to its best advantage. There it goes again. It's oh, right. That's it. Going back into that, into that fast water. We'll have a look at how fast the water is. There it is there. It's a good strong spring out of this. Right, Mike. Tell us, we've got this fish on. Yep. What advice are you giving people? You know, what, what, a big, big fish like this, hard water, do you, do you give it a bit of pressure? Well, the, or? the bit of the water we're on just now is, is, we're on an island and there's a big backwater in front of us, yep. so we need to stay on the point of this island until we've got the fish under control. We can't net it here, no. but if we go down to where we want to net it and the fish decides to object to this, we'll yep. lose it because it'll put underneath this under, undercut bank in here. Yep. And break the line. Break the line, yeah. So we're going to stay out here until we've got it under control and then take it to where we want to net it. Yeah. Al's doing a great job here. Steady pressure. He's caught thousands of fish in his life. He knows exactly what he's doing. So we've probably had this fish on now for a bit. Oh, at least 10 minutes. <clears throat> It's nowhere near ready for net and, it, and it's, oh Christ, it's way back down that point again. We don't want it rubbing, rubbing the nylon on the, on the undercut there. 
that's it, bring this fish back, all the way back again. Tremendous, tremendous fight. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen here. <coughs> oh, there it is. Just seen it. That's a belt. Absolute cracker. There it is. There it is. Well, we've seen it. Absolute belt. There it is. You can just see it. It's, it's almost beat. You just needs to pull up this, this side. Oh, wow. Look at that. Absolutely stunning fish. And it's back in that fast water again. Back in that fast water. Mike's going to go for it though. Yes! Oh man. Not an ideal place to net a fish, but once you've got an opportunity, you've got to take it. Yeah. So the fish has not been out of the water so far. We're going to go in for a, a very quick photograph and this fish is going to get released straight away. That is absolutely stunning fish. Right, give it a smile. Perfect. Right. Oof, what a fish! Well, we've just come over to finish off the day and pack up the boat, and here's young Chris into another fish. Chris had a 22 pounder last Saturday. 15 pounder last year on the same week. And let's see what it is. Nice. That's a springer. That's a springer. That is a springer. <laughs> oh, yes. Bring our number three for the day. Look at that for a fish. Five pound Mike, six pound. And so the day ended with three beautiful Springer's coat.